Gary. Offer this to you. My mother always says to me, I'm glad I'm not young. And I'm starting to say that now. I'm glad I'm not young. Every single thing you want, somebody else wants. It's a massive competition. Yeah. We're evolved with that inclination towards aggression. We need that to protect and provide. That's who we are. You can't tell men to act how they feel. You can't tell men to not have emotional control. You can't tell men to cry anytime they want. To fix society, we have to fix that at the most base level. You got only $49,000. My mother always says to me, I'm glad I'm not young. And I'm starting to say that now. I'm glad I'm not young. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be scary, right? Because the world is hyper competitive. Every single thing in the world is competition. I don't think people realize I'm a hyper competitive person because I understand that every single thing I want, somebody else wants. The girl I want, other people want. The car I want, other people want. The house I want, other people want. The lifestyle, the jet. Every single thing you want, somebody else wants. It's a massive competition. Yeah. As a man, you have two choices. You either accept that as a massive competition and try and play the game, or you just try and pretend it's not a competition and live in perpetual failure. There was a record set next story of a gym, and there's a stair machine, and there was a record set of 188 floors within a time frame. I came along and smashed it with 198. I only held the record for 45 minutes because someone beat it with 202. As soon as the record's beaten, everyone gets pissed off and puts their trainers on, puts their shoes on. As soon as it's beaten, everyone gets mad. Who beat it? Who beat it? And everyone goes and did it. And, and that's how you push yourself to the level you never thought you'd be able to push yourself. 202? 202 floors in 30 minutes. Good luck. 202 no, no, 30 minutes. No, he, that's what that was beaten with. Now it's 222. The beaten again. I don't know if I'll ever get to that. But I, I'm still 198. I've got to try again. But the point is, when you have men around you, there's that natural masculine competition, and that's mm -hmm. what drives you. If you're going to be the best version of yourself, even if you're a boxer training for a fight, you train with a team. You train with other that's boxers. True. You train with other boxers or other trainers. If you're a football, if you're on a football team, you're pushed by your team. I think life should be the same, right? If, imagine you took the normal average man and you moved him into a house of five people, and you had a philosopher and a fitness expert and a hypnotist, whatever it was. These will be, that will make him a more competitive person overall because he's trying to compete with all the other people who are on his level. You don't want to take bitch position. So I, I don't like the idea of my life without masculine competition. That's what I'll always say to my brother. But if you come along and actually advocate and tell men how to be happier. I've been a sad man and a happy man. I am a man. I know exactly how it feels on all ranges of emotion. And I'll be honest with you right now. When a man is sad, yeah, there is an inclination towards aggression. That's how we're born. That's how we're evolved. We're evolved with that inclination towards aggression. We need that to protect and provide. That's who we are. We need that bravery. But having a bunch of depressed, sad men who have no emotional control is dangerous for society. I say this all the time. They try and pretend that I'm somehow dangerous for society by telling men to stand up for themselves and be masculine. Absolutely not really not. When you tell a man to have no emotional control and be more feminine, that's a school shooter. A school shooter is not a man with masculine accountability. He's a man who's told, act how you feel all the time. Then he gets picked on for long enough, throw on some drugs on top his psychiatrist gave him, throw in a lack of a girlfriend, and he's had enough. That's where school shooting comes from. School shooting does not come from men being masculine. It comes from the absolute opposite of these things. And they know this. They know this very, very well. It's teaching them, if you feel, feel, act how you feel. You can't tell men that. It's dangerous. You can't tell men to act how they feel. You can't tell men to not have emotional control. You can't tell men to cry anytime they want. Because men don't just cry sad. They cry angry. They, they cry very angry. You don't want that. You have to teach them stoicism. You have to teach them all of these things. And it's all gone. To fix society, we have to fix that at the most base level, the root level. I think America and most countries need more transparency and understanding of how things work. But when they're attacking the family unit, they're attacking all of these issues. Every issue you've just labeled all starts down, back down to the beginning. Yeah, as a man, I think you have that imperative to understand that the video game of life as a man is exceptionally difficult. And especially as you get older, as you progress with the levels, it gets harder. It's getting harder and harder. You need to level up your character. This is what amazes me when men go, I struggle with motivation. How can you struggle with motivation in the modern world? Are you asking to just lose? Are you asking to just be erased from humanity? Yep. Are you asking to be invisible? How can you be an 18 year old man and say, I don't have the motivation to train as hard as possible and get as rich as possible. You are born to lose if you don't have motivation at 18. In the modern world, as competitive as it is, all those girls, those 18 year old girls you go to school with are talking to some 28 year old man on a, with a yacht somehow. And you're sitting there lonely and you don't have motivation? You must be out of your mind. The only way to win this game is to become as powerful as possible. It's difficult and it's getting harder and harder. And this is why I teach the things I teach to men. You can't just be Joe Schmo and win anymore. That, those days are over. You have to be something else. The challenge those young men have, though, it's not, sometimes not even their fault. Why? Single mother.
yep. raised by a single mother. Yep. They've been indoctrinated and they've heard the future is female a yep. million times. Yep. Next thing you know, they're 18. They kind of have this victim mentality.